All right, so in this video, I'm going to cover a pretty polarizing topic, which is should pitchers use weighted baseballs? And what are my thoughts on weighted baseballs? So number one, I think weighted baseballs are not the devil. I think they're a tool just like anything else. Uh, I think there's a right way to use them and a wrong way to use them. That being said, we're in such we're in the midst of such a heavy fad with weighted balls, and maybe they're never going to go away. But it's clearly there's a bubble that's going to eventually burst at some point. Uh, everyone sees them being used in social media. They're everywhere. Everyone's doing them. Social proof is just all over the place. Oh, every kid I know is doing this program or that program. So therefore, I should be doing that as well, says every 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 year old in the, in the country. And there's some research from the past uh, that showed that they work, right? I don't dispute that. I am confident they work. I've used them in the past with myself and with some of my programs. Uh, in my pitching program in the winter now at Warbird Academy, we do not use weighted balls. We have them for four years. And that's basically because I had a couple injuries four years ago. And I decided that I wasn't comfortable enough not knowing what they were doing to my pitchers. And then I would err on the side of um, using my talents of teaching mechanics, teaching pitchability, teaching pitches, all that stuff. I would teach kids how to be pitchers rather than focus so hard on velocity. I think both are important. Velocity is a very important aspect of being a successful pitcher. Um, so to say that I'm anti-weighted balls or pro weighted balls, I don't really fall in between. It's just like saying I'm not anti kettlebells. I'm not anti dumbbells. I use kettlebells as a tool. I use dumbbells as a tool. I use barbells as a tool. They're all just different tools. Uh, that being said, however, the industry is very polarized. There are tribes. There's the pro weighted ball tribe and they're mostly psychotic. And there's the weighted balls are the devil tribe. And they're also psychotic. I refuse to be part of either of those tribes. I'm very anti-psychopath um, in general. I just don't want to be a part of these people yelling at each other saying, this is the only way to do it. No, this is the only way to do it. There's not one way to do it. So there's other research um, by Mike Reinold who found in a peer-reviewed study that uh, weighted balls increase layback and laxity in the shoulder. And that might be the mechanism for causing injuries in weighted ball programs. Now, again, many of the weighted ball zealots basically just threw that uh, study out, bashed it, bashed him. Um, I think people are heavily entrenched with their personal beliefs, just like this is politics. So me personally, I'm not using them in my programs. Uh, they didn't make or break me as a pitcher personally. And most of the pitchers in the major leagues they certainly have not made or broke those men either. So while we are certainly in the midst of a, a heavy weighted ball boom, uh, guys in the big leagues, Kershaw, you know, Bumgardner, Sale, very confident those guys are not successful because they used weighted balls. They did not throw as hard as they do because of weighted balls. Uh, most of the pitchers, again, you'll probably see in the majors as of this day, got there because they worked hard, they had good arms, they had good mechanics, they worked on perfecting those mechanics, they worked on strengthening their rotator cuff, their forearms, their strength training was probably impeccable, as was their conditioning, their overall dedication to their craft. So weighted balls are a small little chunk within there. Uh, do I think amateur pitchers should grab a weighted ball program and start using it themselves? I do not. I don't think they're capable of choosing the right dosage for themselves. I don't think they're capable of doing it the right way because when we get a little bit of a positive thing, we then tend to overdo it. So uh, I, I really wouldn't recommend that a kid grab a weighted ball program. I would recommend if they're going to do one, they should do it under the supervision of someone who knows what they're doing. Um, and, you know, just like with any other profession, you can get a pitching coach who's phenomenal, really does know what he's doing. You can get a pitching coach who is a hack, just like you get it with lawyers, doctors, surgeons, teachers. There's a continuum of quality uh, of all professionals in all fields doesn't exclude baseball whatsoever. So to summarize my view on weighted balls, um, I stay out of the argument because I refuse to get into shouting matches with psychotic people. And there are tribes of psychotic anti-weighted ball people. And there are psych tribes of psychotic pro-weighted ball people. I'm not going to bicker about it. I don't care. Uh, it's a tool. 
It's not a lifestyle. It's a tool. A weighted ball is a tool. Softballs are 6.7 to 7.2 ounces. Uh, footballs, I think, are 14 ounces. Don't quote me on that. So clearly, the weight of the ball is not some like inherent injurious thing. Football players don't blow their elbows out nearly as much as baseball players do. So I think the verdict is still out. Research is still not completely conclusive about what is happening and why some of these pitchers perhaps are throwing harder when they do weighted ball programs. And if you do choose a weighted ball program for six or eight weeks and you gain a couple miles per hour, which I would suspect that you would, I saw con consistent results like that back when I used them four years ago. Um, I wouldn't uh, then just decide, okay, well, if I got three miles per hour in these six weeks, I'm going to use these for the rest of the year, and then I'm going to gain 30 miles per hour. It's not going to work like that. You're probably going to end up injured. So I think it all just depends on who you are, what you're ready for, your mechanics. I don't think there's a set of mechanics that says if you do weighted balls, you'll never get hurt by them. There, just as there's not a set of mechanics that says uh, if you have these mechanics, you'll never get hurt throwing a baseball at all. Those don't exist. Baseball is a, as a whole, a uh, virtually 100% injury rate sport. And if you pitch a baseball fast enough, you'll eventually land yourself on the DL. Doesn't mean necessarily a surgery, but you will have problems. Just not healthy for your arm, for your body. So that's pretty much the long and the short way to balls. But feel free to leave a comment. Tell me what you think about them. If you think I'm an idiot? Go for it. We'll have a conversation. But you know, again, I know way to balls are a big deal today. They're everywhere, right? So the more we talk about it, the better.